This is one of my favorite things, to find and happen upon a great Texas product. Robin Hawkins does this all the time. She just looks through all these great products and finds great ones from the great state of Texas. So he brought a great, I'm saying great a lot, uh, an assortment of fabulous products from the state. Um, and you're highlighting them at this expo that you're having this weekend. Right? Yes, at our Market Street locations, we're having our Best of Texas Expo, mm -hmm. where you can come out and taste some of these items, and they'll have other items to taste. Um, so good. And we always, um, as United as a company, we strive to buy local as much as uh -huh. we can and highlight Texas products. And you can just look for this emblem on any of our tags, okay, cool. and we try to highlight um, all of our Texas products. Mm -hmm. So I've just brought a few. Some of these will be sampled this weekend, and okay. some of them won't, but I have some from Lubbock. I have the Calito Salsa. Uh -huh. Calitos is excellent. Then, you know, our squash and zucchini for most of our stores is grown in Lubbock. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, the, the That's Teal really family neat. grows a lot of our squash and zucchini. Cool. Um, we have this new, um, the Black Rock Queso is one of the newer items. And that's, uh, it's, have you had it? it look, yes, it, it has it's three it. cheese and it has, you know, lots of peppers in there. It's really a great tasting queso. Black Rock, let's get a good shot of that. Black Rock queso, y'all. Yes, that and it's in the good. refrigerated section. Like, this has to be warmed up. I warmed mm -hmm. it up so you can taste it. Mm -hmm. So it's in the refrigerated section over by, like, the cottage cheese and all that. Okay. Um, then we have so good. tomatoes on the vine from Marfa. Marfa, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. and tomatoes on the vine are so good. They have so much flavor when you can get by them right off that vine. It's like a grown tomato. Well, it helps, too, to, when we're talking about produce, you know, to have produce that's more locally grown because you're getting it without it having to go through, like, being picked off too early and things like that, right? It's yeah. a lot fresher. Yes, exactly. Very good. Okay, what else? Then I have several products from Austin. Benitos mm -hmm. is one of my Ooh. favorite chips. I love Benitos. I do, too. I'm obsessed with them. So I brought the black bean and the white bean. That's from Austin. And we also have um, the sweet bee lemonade, lemonade no, or bee sweet, I'm sorry. Um, this little girl was on um, Shark Tank. And so she developed, oh. she's a four-year-old, she developed this lemonade. And it really? has, like, flaxseed and honey in it. So it's a very... Um, you know, more of a healthier lemonade. Uh -huh. um, and, and her whole deal is she wants to save the bees. So this honey is oh. harvested very um, good for the environment. So it's going to help. Yeah, it's going to help the bees. Then I have some kombucha. Okay, of course. Now everybody who watches the show knows that Preston, our associate producer, is obsessed with kombucha. This this one in particular is the one he loves. Oh, the, the Buddhist brew. And I had one the other day, and it was absolutely delicious. And yes. it, you know, you hear about it. Can I drink this? Yes, I'm just, yes, I'm yes, just yes, yes. Um, You hear about it being really tart or kind of vinegary, but it wasn't. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, well, I also have. Um, so good. And, and you drink kombucha. It has a lot of probiotics, a lot of enzymes. For you. It's very good for your stomach. You can promote a detox if you're going through mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really good for you overall. It's good for your health. I love it. Get that blueberry flavor. It tastes delicious. Okay. Then I also have the Texas Tamale Company. Now, this oh. company is really cool because I think it makes some really different kind of flavor tamales. Like, I brought the black bean. Mm. I tried the spinach oh, tamales cool. yesterday. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, I brought the beef. But, you know, someone, it's great for someone who's a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. or just. Uh, and then they make their um, tamales without any lard. Oh, good. And so those are in the freezer section. They come in that little reusable bag. Oh, that's cool. So that's a great little bag. You know, some, throw some trinkets in it or give it to one of your kids. Yeah. And then I have some street honey. Um, and it's from Alvin, Texas. Mm -hmm. And sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was saying it right correctly. And so I personally love honey, raw honey, that is in a bottle like this. Because sometimes it's in the jar and it's so hard to get yeah. out. So I love, you know, and I love it's a cute little teddy bear. It's it just cute. makes it fun. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really good stuff, Robin. I love all this. Now, you can sample all this again at the Market Street locations. It's mm -hmm. happening this Saturday and Sunday, yes, right? Yes, Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 5. Okay, well, very good. Check it out. And if you want any more great information on all of the local products, just on a daily basis, you know, that Market Street has, you can check out their website, MarketStreetUnited.com. And then the blog that you guys offer, the dietitians have great, healthy recipes yes, for everyone. Yes, living well at Market Street. I love it. Robin, thank you for stopping by. These are really, really fun products. The Benitos, the Kombucha, all really excellent. I can speak from experience.